Rounding decimals. Sometimes when changing a fraction to a decimal, the result contains too many digits. In this case, the number can be written with a remainder or it can be rounded off. Our rule is when rounding off numbers to a certain place, look at the digit to the right of that place. If the digit to the right is less than 5, simply drop it and any digits that follow. If the digit to the right is 5 or more, drop it and any digits that follow and add 1 to the preceding digit. Let's look at an example to help you better understand. Change one-third into a decimal. If we look at this problem, we know we have to do 1 divided by 3. We're going to place our decimal point and place some zeros. 3 goes into 10 3 times. When I subtract and bring down the 0, I get another 10. 3 goes into 10 3 times. When I subtract and bring down the 0, I get another 10. 3 goes into 10 3 times. As you can see, there is a pattern here. And no matter how many times I keep subtracting, and no matter how many times I keep placing zeros, I will continue to get a 3. This will never end. You can write this answer in a number of ways. One way is to write 0.3 repeating. That bar signifies that that 3 repeats over and over and over again. If you would like to round it off to the nearest thousandth, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, we're going to look at the number in this place, the ten thousandths column. Since that's lower than 5, we could round it to 0.333. We would drop the rest of the 3's. Another way to do this is to take this 1 and bring it up as a remainder. We could write this answer as 0.333 and 1 third. The 1 coming from the remainder, the 3 coming from the divisor. 1 third is equal to 0.3 repeating. It's also equal to 0.333 and 1 third. It's approximately 0.333. Let's look at our second example, 2 sevenths. When I divide 2 divided by 7, 7 goes into 20 2 times. Never forget that decimal. We get 14, we're going to subtract. Bring down the 0, 7 goes into 60 8 times. We subtract. 7 goes into 40 5 times. We're still getting a remainder, but this is not the same remainder we got each time like we did in this problem. So we're going to continue a little bit farther to see if we can discover a pattern. I bring down the 0, 7 goes into 50 7 times. I get a remainder of 1. I haven't had that remainder yet. So I'm going to bring down another 0. 7 goes into 10 one time. I have a remainder of 3. I haven't had that remainder yet. I bring down another 0. 7 goes into 30 four times. I get a remainder of 2, and if I were to bring down another 0, I'm back to the 20 that I started with. And that's my key to tell me that this number is going to repeat again. 0.285714, that will never stop. So I can write 2 sevenths as 0.285714. And since all six numbers would repeat, I would put the repeating bar over all six numbers. And I could say that 2 sevenths is equal to 0.285714 repeating. If I was going to bring this 2 remainder up, 
I could say this equals 0.285714 and 2 sevenths. 2 from the remainder, 7 from the divisor. If I'm rounding to the 10 hundred thousandths, I look at this number. 7 is larger than 5, so I'm going to add 1 to this column and drop the rest. So I would get 0.286. So 2 sevenths is equal to 0 0.285714 repeating. It's equal to 0.285714 and 2 sevenths. And it's approximately 0.286. This is an exercise room on a cruise ship. On the treadmill, you walk for 20 minutes at a speed of 3.6 miles per hour. How many miles did you walk? Let's do the math. You walked 20 minutes at 3.6 miles per hour. That's the abbreviation for miles per hour. How many miles did you walk? And so we want to find out how many miles did you walk in that treadmill. Now this is in minutes and this is in hours. So we got to convert then the 20 minutes into hours. All right, and that would be 20 over 60 minutes. And we can remove each zero from this fraction. So then we have 2, 6. Divide each side by 2 equals 1 over Three. So 20 minutes equals one-third of an hour. 40 minutes equals two-thirds of an hour. Now let's multiply that. One-third, multiply that by 3.6 equals, and we can reduce that further. Three goes into three, one. Three goes into three, one, and into six, two times. So it's 1.2. And so that would be 1.2 miles. So if you walk for 20 minutes, which is one third of an hour, times 3.6 equals 1.2 miles. Let's do it the other way too. Let's convert one third into a decimal. One third equals, and so it's one. 3 divided into 1, put some zeros after this, after the decimal point. 3 goes into 10 three times, 1 left over. Again, it's 10. And you can see that's just a continuous, let's put the decimal point over here, and it's just continuous. And it just keeps on going, going, going. So that would be 0.33. And let's multiply then 3.6 by 0.33. Three. three times six is 18. Three times three is nine plus one is 10. And it keeps on repeating. Let's add the numbers together. Eight, eight, nine, one, one. And we got one, two, three, four decimal places. One, two, three, four. So this would be 0 0.11988 or 1.2 because it's, this is not, comes out evenly. You have a longer number over here. But you can see it's the same thing. It's actually 1.2 miles if you walk 20 minutes around on, the, on that treadmill. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.